All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about how Facebook uses your data and how Facebook actually makes money. So the question I have for you first is, how do you think Facebook makes money? Like, do you consider yourself as a user, the customer of Facebook? Because I will tell you, you are not the customer of Facebook. That's not the way they view it. You're a user on the platform, your data is valuable to them. Your data is something they want to use and, and, and make available to advertisers. Advertisers are the customer of Facebook. And when I say Facebook, I'm not trying to just say Facebook because Facebook's whatever. Any single platform out there has the same sort of issue. They, they especially if it's free. If it's free, there's gotta be a way that they make money. Right? You start to look at these things and you go, well, you know, Facebook, yeah, okay, good. Well, then I'm just going to stick to Instagram. Same thing. And by the way, Instagram is owned by Facebook. So what they do is they provide that data uh, or they collect that data so that advertisers can target you. So don't be surprised why you get such specific targeting when you're on Facebook. You may have posted, hey, you know, I was thinking about going camping and all of a sudden you start seeing ads for camping gear and like, you know, cantinas and all this stuff. The reason why is not that anything other than they take all of the actions you do on Facebook, on any of these platforms, and they monetize that. When you like certain things, they know that you liked it. When you watch certain videos, they know that you watched it. When you're commenting, they know you did that. When you check in at a store and then you check out, when you, when you log that you're going to travel somewhere, all of these things are done and known by them. When you like certain pages, they know that. So they know all of this stuff and they also try to buy other information, which that's a whole separate thing, but they try to combine that together so that they have huge amounts of information about their users. So I'll just give you an example. On advertising on Facebook, you can target single moms between the age of 23 and 31 who live in Boston, Massachusetts, who uh, have buying patterns of buying, um, you know, baby clothes or baby toys online. Like they can get so specific and that's not even like crazy specific. That's, I could do that in about three minutes on advertising. So just understand that is what their model is. So we have our own responsibility in the fact that we also use their data, their platform, and we don't know how it works exactly, right? I'm just saying like your general user, we. And so getting educated on it, that's why I wanted to make a video about it. Getting educated on it is super important so you understand because it's one thing to say, hey, somebody came and stole my data. That is the responsibility of that company for sure. But it's a whole other thing to say, I agree, which is what happens when you sign that terms and conditions. I agree that I'm going to have all my data available for advertising and blah, 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 which is in there. I agree to all these things, right? And then because something happens you don't like, you say, well, they shouldn't do that. Like there's some responsibility that you have that we have in that as well. We do, I believe, need to actually take more responsibility for that and actually get educated on how these things work. I will challenge you, if you start to look for free services out there, there is some way that those groups have to make money. There's some way that they do it. Some For some businesses, they'll do like a free consultation, but that's because they know when they do the consultation, there's gonna be a percentage of those people they can sign up. Right? When Facebook says, hey, it's free to use the platform, then they will say they have to actually make the money in the advertising. Sometimes people charge for the platform and they make money on advertising. I mean, you know, there's all, all sorts of things. So just take a look at that and I challenge you to, to look at that and you start to see the ways that these guys actually make money. And just to give you one more point on this thing, it costs billions of dollars to run Facebook. So like they have to make money. We can't pretend like it's just some free thing. Like we're just gonna print more money and it's totally fine. They have to actually make money. So the, you start to actually look at it and you're gonna find all the ways that they can make money and it's heavily in the advertising world. But that's what a lot of these online platforms are doing. Just so you guys are thinking with it. All right, I wanted to, to, to share that with you. If you think of anything else 
that you want to hear about, any other platforms you want to know about, if you say, hey, you know what, these, how do the people monetize this? Uh, let me know and I'll check it out and see if I can help you out with another video. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great one.